Hello everyone, this is Ace Amarif. Today, welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial, and today I'll show you how to manipulate photo. So, like that, and uh, this one is easy to do that. So, uh, let's start my tutorial. Before we start my tutorial, I want to say one thing: please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So, at first, I'll go to the file and new, and from new options i'll take a canvas which is a 2560 and 1440 and the 200 dpi or pixel per inch ppi whatever you can tell and rgb color mode obviously i will publish this one in a web that's why i'm using the rgb color mode and hit the create button you'll get a blank new canvas okay after that press d for the reset the foreground and background color and after that for the background color go to the solid color and take the ash color like that okay and after that go to the file and open up here is the model that is the stock image at first i'll cut it down the model from the background and then i'll replace this one to that background okay let's start that so i'll copy this one by pressing ctrl j this one and drop it over there and after that i'll take a brightness panel and i'll increase the brightness for my cutting purpose so it will help me out to cut the model properly so for that i'll use the quick selection tool and i'll increase the brush size like that using the third bracket closing and opening and just select select this background and this layer otherwise you are selecting in a brightness contrast no select this layer okay and select carefully so yeah when you are getting this one select carefully okay it's easy to select if you increase the light it the edge will be prominent and you can cut your model uh, from the background easily press alter button for the deselect any areas so like that take little bit shadow for the safety purpose and it will help you out okay select these areas these areas as well this portion so when you are selecting the model be careful about the edges so here is some edges i'll refine the edges and then go to the select options and press the shift button and hold it and select and mask option okay before that just you can turn off the light okay and then now select press the shift button and hold it and make selection okay and here is the settings like that that's good and select the new layer with the layer mask and hit the ok button you'll get transparent background so okay and I'm going back to this layer and then I'll go to the file and place embedded option I have a cityscape and I'll just replace or place it here like that yeah I'm making it bigger by pressing ctrl T and press the ctrl T button and right press and flip horizontal I'll make it horizontal like that and just right press restylize layer I'll add some uh, shadow highlighting or other things so I'm going to the gradient map options and here is a gradient map like that and I'll make the color the violet color from to the blue color and hit the ok button and hit ok so and the soft light or you can make it overlay no screen no soft lights that's good so you can increase or decrease the opacity so here the blue color should be like that yeah and hit ok and after that take a new blank layer I'm preparing the background so here the orange color I'll take FC FFC 00 and go to the brush options and select here press ctrl T and make it bigger yeah that's good and hit ok and make it skin color and then I'll make a group that is the BG bg for the background and 
then i'll go to the file and place embedded option here is the rock and i downloaded this one from debian.com and i'll give you that download link in my video description so i'll replace this here and press ctrl t and just make like that okay and hit the ok button and now just right press and restylize the layer from the rock options i'll adjust the light so go to the adjustment layer and brightness contrast make it mask and just light it a little bit down okay that's good and select these two things make it group and give the name rock and after that uh, here was our model so i'll take this model in this window press ctrl t and make it smaller so smaller like that that's good and place here so i'll just place here okay and hit the tick button and right press right press and apply layer mask okay after that here here is the our model options and i'll go to the file and place embedded here is the wings png so i'll add these wings png so make it smaller like that replace here drag it to the downside of the model layer and here is the wings that is the restylized layer but one thing is that you should add some shadow in the wing layer and you need to adjust all the things that's why i'll take a new blank layer and just make it clipping mask and go to the shadow or take the black color like that go to the brush and make the opacity 27 flow 27 and add some shadow over there okay and select these two things make it group give the name that is the name is uh, wings okay now work of the model so take a blank new layer and drag it in the downside and now i'll give the shadow so make it pitch black and just draw a shadow before that you have to check out the opacity and flow of the brush so i'll down the opacity like that okay and the flow like that so give like that press ctrl t you can adjust the shadow like that yeah that's good and then press ctrl t again and you can make it like that so shadow can be like that so in the rock portion uh, i'll go to the trust and i'll down the brightness like that so a little bit up so that's good and the shadow of the model like that yeah now uh, another blank layer i will take and decrease the brush size and give some shadow here just because of the shadow of the girl like that but uh, one thing is that uh, you are getting some shadow beside the is this portion the gradient map and this one gradient map i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and i'll take it in the upper side of the whole things and just making it just uh, creating clipping mask this one and this one also i'll reduce the opposite like that yeah and this one I'll make it bigger press ctrl T make it bigger and use here okay so the wings are not warm color so that's why I'll make the wings in a warm color uh, I'll select the wings and go to the adjustment and the photo filter from the photo filter uh, I'll just make it warm color so you can choose another color like that yeah that's cool and hit the ok button so now the image is fulfilled our image is almost ready so here is i'll give, give the name a model 
okay that's good select all the things make it group make it merge and after merging that go to the filter and nick collection color effects pro uh, so yeah and here is lots of presets i'm using the cross processing cross processing and here are lots of presets like that the methods actually so you can use those methods to enhance your like uh, the photo look so i'll use this one or the this one okay make it like strength like that and hit the ok button you'll get a new look in your photo so yeah that's good so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am asmrf signing out and bye bye